Hi everybody, here we have this month's club game, which is the Battle of Itibol in 1864, which was part of the Second Schleswig War, fought between Denmark, Prussia and Austria. We'll be using black powder rules, and we'll also be using the Wargamer Ada Comp gaming system with the Wargamer Ada Comp Digital Awesome Musket Set 1 inset cards. The battle was fought in and around a series of redoubts and fortifications that the Danish forces were occupying and the Prussian forces which were attacking will be trying to take each line of defence in turn and here we can see the first Prussian brigade moving up and the Prussian forces in the centre getting ready to advance as well and here we see the Prussian brigade on the left flank getting ready to attack. For this game we allowed the Prussians to have some off-board artillery to be able to bombard the initial Danish position here and we can see the Prussian forces getting into the attack straight away trying to push the, the Danish troops out of the first line of entrenchments. If they do manage to push these back they will be allowed to take the artillery pieces and use them themselves as they're, the Prussians are quite light on artillery. So as we can see the first line of fortifications is being overrun by the Prussians reasonably quickly. They're only lightly, lightly held. But the off-board Prussian artillery is only allowed to fire into the, the first line of defences. We're not going to allow them to attack everywhere. The Danish have a, an off-table ironclad called the Rolf Cracker, which we just got a quick glimpse of there. And that's been allowed to come into action as the Prussians begin to push into the first line of fortifications and the fire from the Rolf Cracker actually then does start to hold up the Prussian advance on their right flank. Um, the fire from the ironclad does successfully keep disrupting the troops there which um, effectively stops the Prussian advance at the first line of defences. On the Prussian left flank they actually push through the main line and then start advancing on the second fort line of fortifications quite quickly uh, but we see here the uh, Danish forces the reserves advancing to try and plug the gaps all along the line. Prussian attack stalls for a little bit in the centre and on the right unable to advance they're being held back by the Danish troops firing into them and managing to disrupt them but once the Prussians actually manage to get themselves reorganised, they push, push on with the assault. And here again we see they start attacking the Danish fortifications. And start pushing the Danish troops back out of the second line of fortifications. And it's looking quite likely that the Prussians are just going to steamroller over the whole second line but the Danish reinforcements advances now and recognises that their right flank is about to collapse so decides to engage the Prussian forces in and around the mill to see whether they can stabilise the line. And here we can see the entire brigade moving into action. Prussians continue to attack, try to press through um, if they can actually break through the second line of defence and start advancing up the, the main road the battle will be effectively over as the, the Danish will be unable to retreat along their line of supply. But the Danish reserve which has now got to the main entrenchment line stabilises the line and in some cases pushes the, the Prussian forces back so the battle begins to swing back in the favour of the Danish forces as their reserve brigade 
has stabilised the line and the Prussians on their right flank are unable to advance um, as they've been held up by the fire from the Rolf Cracker ironclad and won't be able to advance anymore. Prussians on their left flank make one last attempt to break through on their left flank and assault the Danish reserve troops and on the furthest left flank the Prussians just manage to push through but they don't actually capture the road but the game is decided it's a very very slight victory for the Prussian forces but it was very close and the Danish very nearly did pull off a spectacular win. Hope you enjoyed this game and we'll see you next month.